Despite what everybody else wants to say in the world, the taking of a knee is an act of submissiveness. Rule number one. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. It sounds so simplistic. It's so obvious. And yet how many people actually care about how they are how they present themselves to the outside world. Do they take care of their own posture? Now, in a natural understanding, in a natural context, as interacting with the things of this world, Dr. Peterson is much more informed about the psychology of these things than I ever will be. But there are strange parallels between that natural approach to the world and the supernatural approach of even someone like St. Therese. One of her best penances, she writes, was to sit properly on her chair without letting her back touch the chair back. Therefore, perfecting her posture. But you try that for 10 minutes and tell me that it doesn't hurt. And therefore, all of these natural things are capable of becoming supernaturalized, mainly by our intention. But we also have to understand the psychology behind that intention. Why do we want to do these things? But standing up straight with your shoulders back projects an image of you to the outside world. It is saying to them, I have value at least in myself. I am honest. I have integrity. I am not bowed down by the woes and travails of this world. I am ready to meet them head on. I am a man not only with confidence, but with courage. Now, psychologically, as Dr. Peterson will point out in his book, that means so much to the inner self. That is at least a test of our own courage in the real world. Yes, we might be beaten down, but we're not going to start off accepting that as a given. We're going to challenge it. We're going to try and navigate this world. And we're going to do so from this posture of dignity. The notion of posture, of course, is something that's completely familiar to us. When we think of standing, particularly, we think of standing around the circumstantibus, who would stand around the altar for those prayers are offered in the canon of the Mass for those people. I often joke with my own servers and, and, and school kids that, oh, you lot, standing around the altar, this prayer is being said for you. And so how we stand around would suggest that it's important. In the days before pews were ever introduced into Catholic churches, everybody stood for everything. And so therefore, how we stand in the presence of man also reflects how we stand in the presence of God. And when we think of that term standing, we can draw all sorts of parallels. Standing could be the table of effect the standings in a league table, the standings in a golf tournament, the standings in any sporting trophy. It's how we refer to everyone else. Where do you stand relative to this proposition? Well, our proposition in nature is to stand with that human dignity that's been endowed by God, but also to stand with a supernatural component to be as integral human beings as possible, to say what we mean and mean what we say, needs also to be lived out in the practical sense because as body and soul, our soul is only known to others through our actions. And so standing up straight is as important, I would argue, as kneeling up straight. Because when we adopt the posture of kneeling, we are adopting an attitude towards God and to God alone. We do not take the knee for any other cause. Despite what everybody else wants to say in the world, the taking of a knee is an act of submissiveness. It's not an act of pride. It's not an act of, I agree. It's an act of 
supplication. It's an act, ultimately, of humiliation. I have been subjected. I am lesser than you. Now, I don't think it's particularly healthy to ever apply that to a human natural situation. Who, which one of us would seek out someone to be conquered by? Now, coming from Scotland, that's a little bit more understandable. We have been conquered, but we resent the fact, and we do not kneel unless we are forced to do so. But to be compelled to kneel is different from willing it, from choosing to kneel. And when we come to our church, when we kneel in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, we are making a clear, unequivocal statement that God is in charge. We are reminding ourselves of that very fact in the act of our genuflection, in the act of our posture of kneeling during Mass and the consecration and during Holy Benediction. We are identifying publicly that we are not the centre of the universe. We are acknowledging God's complete dominion over us. Now, therefore, kneeling can take all sorts of forms, just as standing. If we are to slouch our way through this world, walking through and standing at the coffee table with an attitude of, I care less about me, then how can we expect anything good to come from that? Therefore, when we approach our God and kneel in his presence, a lot can be determined about how serious we are about that statement that we're making. Do we rest our backsides on the pew? Do we slouch over the kneeler in front of us? Or do we take the time to perfect ourselves as St. Tres did? in the external component of our prayer life to then better the quality of our internal prayer life? Do we tell ourselves by what we do what we mean?